Hello fellow Aussians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling, a Wizard of Oz collector and enthusiast, sharing with you my thoughts, my collection, and a little bit of my musical talent with all of you, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a little haul video from my little trip earlier back in May to Wizard of Oz Days Festival, which is in Chesterton, Indiana. And while I was at the festival, I couldn't resist at getting a couple of things, well, maybe more than a couple. And this is everything that I got. In no particular order, I'm just kind of going as I'm grabbing, so we'll start with the stuff that's closest to me on the floor. So at this year's festival, there were two different options for uh, pin buttons that you could purchase. The first one here is one that celebrates Judy Garland with her 100th birthday. And the second one featured the Munchkins from Oz the Great and Powerful, since they had quite a few of the Munchkin actors there at the festival. And kind of going along the lines with the Oz the Great and Powerful theme, one of the sellers had another uh, Disney pin. And these next four books, I had only one of these when I was younger, but I didn't know that these came in hardback, which was a variant I didn't know existed. I only had Dorothy and the Magic Belt. I did not have the other three. Never saw them anywhere, and it wasn't until an, as an adult that I got them. So it's really neat to have these in hardback for the first time in the collection instead of having the paperbacks, which paperbacks are just not, not fun to handle and deal with. They're just not, I'm sorry. I'm not a paperback person. Um, another one of these sellers had this really cool ruby slippers pin. I think I'm definitely gonna wear that at the next convention. Whenever there's some sort of fancy get together, I'll definitely stick that on my tie. That'll be really cool. So this next piece is kind of random, but here we go. So back in the 60s, they had this really cool bed set that was Wizard of Oz themed. And one of the sellers had a sealed pillowcase from this set. And I was like, I don't own any of this. That would be really cool to at least have one that's in better condition than what I've typically seen with this. So this was a really cool find. I have no idea if I'll ever see, like, the others in the original packaging. I'm sure it, somebody probably has it, but I've never seen it. As crazy as it might sound, I don't own all of the Hallmark ornaments, and this was one of those ornaments that I was missing. <laughs> uh, so one of the sellers had this lovely lady, Dorothy Gale. I was missing this version from all of my Hallmark ornaments, and it was a decent price much better than eBay, and I didn't have to pay shipping for it, so that was a plus. Going along with the Christmas theme, at another booth, they had this really, really cool ornament that was sold at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, which is really cool. I love all of this MGM Grand stuff because it, it features that OZ crest. Love stuff that has that. Okay, so I know a lot of us Wizard of Oz collectors love collecting the Wizard of Oz in different forms of media like VHS, DVD, Laserdisc. Well, here's the first ever home video release of the Wizard of Oz, and that was 8mm film. So stinking cool. I don't have a projector. Wish I did but I don't. But it's so stinking cool that here is a film version of The Wizard of Oz on 8mm. Not the best quality as far as um, film is concerned. This is like the cheapest quality as far as film is concerned. But um, really cool to own this and to say I've got the first ever home video release of 
MGM's The Wizard of Oz. I'm not too big on foreign editions of The Wizard of Oz. The only real foreign anything that I have in my collection is either foreign made dolls or return to Oz items. So this was definitely something completely out of the wheelhouse of things that I typically get. But one of the sellers had a Japanese edition of The Wizard of Oz, which I thought was pretty stinking cool and really unique. Definitely really cool find. Okay, so during the auction, I had some people questioning me on why I would go after Barbie dolls. Yes, I know. I went after Barbie dolls. And it was because I was missing one from an earlier set. So from the 2000 line, I was missing the Cowardly Lion and finally picked him up. Don't know why I was missing him, but I was. So I finally have all of the dolls from this collection. I don't have the Emerald City set. I'm trying not to say that I need that, because I really don't need that. Right? Right? Okay. So we'll just go with, I have all the dolls, this is good step. So back when I was younger, I had the this really cool giant Wizard of Oz coloring book. And this was another one of those items where I was like, I didn't know that existed. So there was a smaller version of the giant coloring book, and it's called a junior giant coloring book of the Wizard of Oz. Yes, it's still huge by any coloring book standards. And this one's uncolored, which cool that we get to see all the artwork uncolored. But I really liked this coloring book when I was younger and it's really cool to be able to see it in a different size that's much more manageable to color and to look at. So really cool. So as I said, they had the Munchkin actors there from Oz the Great and Powerful. And before I went to the festival, I was looking around my collection going, oh my gosh, I need to bring something that they can sign because when am I gonna have this opportunity again? And I'm looking around and looking around, looking around, and I'm like, well, crap, what's gonna fit inside a suitcase? So I found something. So I have this little mini promotional poster that I got signed. I thought that was so stinking cool to have a signed poster of several actors from Oz the Great and Powerful. Now, besides the Munchkins, there was also another guest that everybody was really anxious to see, and that was Judy Garland's son. And I did not leave empty-handed with him either. I got his lovely signature with this very adorable picture of him with his mother, Judy Garland. Okay, so here is the last item that I got. And this one I had to fight over with the auction. There was somebody else that was going back and forth with me and I won. Anyways, I got this really, really this, this thing is just so stinking cool. Okay, so I got this Wizard of Oz lamp. These lamps, when they were originally issued out, were unpainted. So when you purchased one, it was up to you to decide what colors everything should be. And when I saw the way that this one was painted, I was like, oh my gosh, gotta have it. Gotta have it. This is just so stinking cool. I love, 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 love the way that this is sculpted. And the way it's done. It's very cute. Very cute. I love stuff that's generic Wizard of Oz, and also I love vintage. Anything, give it to me, I will buy it. I'm really bad about vintage stuff. It didn't come with the shade. I got that when we got back to Louisiana. 
And that was everything that I got this year at Wizard of Oz Days Festival in Chesterton, Indiana. And if you've never attended a Wizard of Oz festival or convention, they are just such great places to find cool stuff for your Oz collection. And sometimes with these places, they're the only places that you can find some of this stuff and not have to pay crazy prices with shipping. Now, with some of these items, I actually did ship them home, like the lamp. This obviously wasn't going to fit inside of a suitcase, and I most certainly was not going to trust putting a lamp in a suitcase. That just doesn't sound very smart. So we went to the nearest UPS store and had it shipped back to Louisiana, and thankfully it came in one piece. Did you recently get anything at maybe an estate sale or a flea market? What finds have you had this summer? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, Follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.